No. No. Howdy, Elise here with Reading Boots. Thanks for tuning in. Today I have a fun, interactive, during reading strategy. Today's strategy is called Child Participation. I know that that name is not very flashy, but it's very self-explanatory. In this strategy, you're going to pre-plan your read aloud and pick out specific word, phrase, or sentence that's repeated in the book that your child will be responsible for reading. To kick off this strategy, I have a very favorite, No David, to share with you. I picked No David to model the strategy because the word no appears in the book many times. So what you'll do is you'll have already read the book ahead of time, picked out the word or phrase, so you're prepared when it's time to read with your child. And you'll tell your child, I have a very important job for you. Kids love getting important jobs. So you'll tell your child, your important job is reading the word no, or whatever word you pick, every time we get to it in the story. You wanna ask them, do you think you can do that? And get them really excited and pumped up to read that word. And then after you give them the big job of reading that word, you wanna practice. So you're going to say, every time you see this word, you're going to read the word no, and then ask them, what are you going to read? No. What is this word? No. Let's spell the word. N-O. What's this word? No. Now, you want them to practice reading it with expression. So make sure to tell kids that when we read, we read with expression, we make our voice excited so that it sounds interesting. And so you're gonna practice this word with expression. You're gonna say, no. Every time you see this word, you're gonna say, no. What are you going to say? No. And now you've already given your child their important job. You've practiced reading with expression and you could tell them, now is reading time. Remember, every time we see this word, I'm going to point to it, but I'm not going to read it. You're in charge of this word. That gives your child responsibility and a, gives them a voice in your read aloud. So you're just gonna get started and you're gonna point quietly and let them say, no, no, David. Some pages have the word no, and then you'll also be reading, so you would point your child would say, no, David. Some pages only have the word no. So your child will be responsible for this whole page. And they'll feel like an independent reader. They'll point and your child will say, no, no, no. When you get to the end of the book, you wanna give your child a high five. Say, nice job, reader. I couldn't have read this book without you you played an important role. And I bet that your child will want to read this book again. And the more you read it, the better your child will know the word no, and the more expression your child will use. This strategy is a great strategy to practice sight words. Remember, sight words are the most common words found in the English language. Oftentimes when you're preparing for child participation, the word or many words in the phrase or sentence that you pick will be sight words. So your child will make that connection that N-O spells no, and every time I see this word, it's the word no. It also gives your child voice and ownership over that story time. It's not just something that you're doing for your child. You're not just reading aloud to your child they're a part of it. I can't wait for you to find your favorite book around the house, pick a word, phrase, or sentence to give your child the big job of reading, 
and have fun reading together with expression. Get your reading boots on and enjoy the journey.